So there's a lot of confusion and controversy over this topic of sun exposure and melanomas. Uh, on one hand, there's a push to have everyone avoid the sun. On the flip side of that, 69% of the population has vitamin D insufficiency. So what do you do? You're caught between a rock and a hard place. Well, I put a very interesting study down below that you should read. And this is a summary of it. They're talking about the difference between moderate sun exposure versus getting a sunburn. Non-burning sun exposure is associated with a decreased risk of melanomas, okay? Whereas people in the category of getting a sunburn, which is associated with doubling the risk of melanomas, okay? So as long as you don't get a sunburn, you're gonna be good. Outdoor workers have lower incidence of melanomas versus indoor workers. And uh, it says, uh, Chow Hurry in 2014 performed a meta-analysis of data from 73 cohort studies with 849,000 participants and 22 randomized control trials with 31,000 participants. So there's a lot of people involved in this uh, study. The study found an inverse association of circulating vitamin D with risk of death due to cardiovascular diseases, cancer, and other causes. So check out the study. I put the link down below, but realize that the radiation that you get from the sun that potentially could cause damage in your DNA and alter the DNA sequences can also be at the same time protected from vitamin D because vitamin D has a protective function as well, among many other functions. Anyway, I put some additional interesting videos in vitamin D on this page right here. Go ahead and check them out. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.